Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown. So what we will do, <laughs> can't talk, what we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign, um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it if that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway, um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in, in in their their businesses. I want to be more successful. And I get that. But success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you. What it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do. And that's all good. And we're going to look at this. But energetically speaking, it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009 I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe. And you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Leos. Let's look at your year, months by months, starting with January 2021. This is for the star sign of Leo. Let's have a look what January has got for you. Just make a bit more space here. <laughs> okay, in January, the guides are saying to you, direct your thoughts upward, which means have higher thoughts. Don't bring the frustration of 2020 into 2021, because some of you Leos, maybe a bit pissed off, <laughs> maybe a bit um, almost destructive in your way. So you really want a new beginning in 2021. And what the guides are saying is, it comes when you say, what is it that I really want? How can I get there? But the moment you bring anger and frustration to proceedings, it will slow things down. So in January, they're asking you to let go of negativity, to let go of um, that feeling of um, yeah, being annoyed and um, the feeling of I've been taken advantage of <clears throat> and manifest anew by saying, where do I want to go, right? That's really the only thing they have for you for January is to make sure you have a check um, or you check your emotions and manifest what you want instead of giving in to um, any low vibes, low negative energy, right? Going into February 2021 for the star sign of Leo. What the guides are saying to you in February is, that <laughs> sounds a bit weird, you may not have let it all go by February. There may still be, the feeling that I get is that, you know, um, it's not that simple to say like, okay, well, I let that all go, because in order to let it all go, in order to manifest the new, you have to make new decisions and therefore new things uh, can happen and other things will leave, can leave. And all the guides are saying is in February, the universe understands that this may be a month, or is a month according to the energy here, where you may feel a bit disheartened by everything and anything that's that's gonna, or that's had it happened. <clears throat> what the guides are saying to you is you have the heavens, which means your ancestors are around, your guides are around, so you are protected by the universe, if that makes sense. And you have um, the Demiurge, Kokopelli uh, also known, um, and his message to you is, is to trust 
that nothing ever stays negative. It can't rain all the time, right? And just give in to the reality that you're facing without being um, defined by it, right? So that's your February. Thus far, January and February, it doesn't seem to be the easiest of years. It doesn't feel like there is only low energy there. But it is important to acknowledge that you're not out of the woods yet and allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling, right? Really, really important. Shall we go into March? Okay, here we go. March 2021 for the star sign of Leo. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> In March, there's much more healing to come for Leo. Yes, in January you were asked to um, have higher thoughts and maybe begin to manifest. But in February, as you already noticed, energies are still not so great. And in May, sorry, in March, March, not May. <laughs> and in March, even though the energy is higher in March, that's a good thing. Come March, energy is really rising. Um, so things are on the up. They're still asking you, Leos, in March, to take things slowly. Whatever it is you're doing, don't rush into it. Right? I have the feeling that new opportunities will come to you in March 2021. And all the guides are saying is don't just go head over heels and say, yeah, great, been waiting for this because you don't know if you have been waiting for this. It's just the first thing that, 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 that presents itself. And <coughs> so what the guides are saying to you is take things slowly in March because you, ha you still have a lot of healing to do. The feeling that I'm getting is that in March, a lot of situations that have happened to you um, are now ready to fully leave you, if that makes sense. So this is not just about 2020. This is about whatever made you you and whatever has damaged you now wants to be healed. So March is a month of healing and therefore March has to be a month of doing things slowly and that's why the guides are saying is energies are higher, things are on the up. If an opportunity presents itself, follow it, but don't go in there all guns blazing because you will you will exert yourself pretty soon. Right? That was your March 2020 going into April. Just need a sip. Or two or three. Mm -hmm. Going into April 2020. This is for the star sign of Leo. Please share this video widely. There must be other Leos out there. <laughs> so please share this on your on, on, on your page with all the people you know. Right? <clears throat> it certainly would help me making sure that, that um, there's more Leos out there who can hear um, what the guides have to have to say. April 2021, this is the star sign of Leo, you have the rabbit and the owl. What the guides are saying is, finally, after being asked in March to sort of slow down, finally, opportunities are really coming in and finally you can see, wow, I had no idea, I have so many options. And that's what the guides are saying. You have so many options and here's the good thing, it doesn't matter which opportunity you follow they all will lead you somewhere all you need to do is to pay attention to what is being said around you make sure that no matter what you do go where you feel the people are the least bitchy that's what the the, the guides the word the guides give me there's a lot of bitchiness in the air and maybe in groups where you could do stuff go with the group that feels the least egotistic and the least bitchy, right? Short and sweet, that was April 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Leos. Um, I just found this the other day in one of my uh, Kinder chocolate things, because I'm a big kid, I love Kinder chocolate. And it says here, adult lions usually spend most of the day sleeping, up to 20 hours a day. And I know you're not lions, this is just the star sign of Leo. I found this and I have it here. So um, what that signifies to me, because now we're talking about another month, which is the month of May. Um, 
make sure you have enough rest. That's the first thing that comes up. Really, really important for you to have enough rest. Okay, let's have a look at the month of May. This is the star sign of Leo. In May 2021, for the star sign of Leo, you are coming to crossroads. Um, there's new opportunities, you're going new places, but again, this, this seems to be, or the way the guides explain it here, it is a year, it's going to be a year <clears throat> of healing too. And they're asking you in May to allow, to continue to allow things to go. They're showing me the God of Rain, which means tears are important, tears are sacred medicine. Allow yourself to let it all go and you have your medicine wheel right next to it, which means this is a, this is a month, May 2021, for Leos. This is the month where you have to pay attention or to pay attention to your mental health and your physical health. Maybe, and this is just the, guy, the way the guide showed it to me, maybe it is time you took stock about where am I in life, right? How well do I actually look after me and how well does the life I lead allow me to look after myself, right? Really, really important questions uh, that you ought to ask yourself in May 2021. Going into June 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Leo. Let's have a look. You're going to love this. <coughs> June, June is so far the first month of 2021. Six months, six months in. Your June is where you fully come back from all issues energetically. You kind of go like, yeah, I've been through that stuff and I'm going to now pressure on and look forward. That's what's going to happen to you in June. A new sense of pride, a new sense of, of going and you are, <laughs> this is what the guys show me, you are the hunter of honor which means this is June 2021. This is the time, the months, the moment in time where you can expect and claim respect that is due. Watch how people talk to you and if it's not respectful, put them in their place. Really, really important, okay? That was June 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Leo. And now we're going into July. In July, things already dip a little. You have the chipmunk and the arctic fox. What they're saying to you is while your energy is really high, opportunities are coming your way and you're finally out of this healing thing. Um, make sure you're not going or you're not falling back into a rut. Right? Don't feel like, I'm repeating myself here, just feels like last year. <laughs> right? The moment you have this feeling like, mm, I'm beginning to get stuck again, make sure you're not. Right? Don't follow old patterns that haven't worked for you. That's your message, your only message in, um, well, almost your only message in July 2021 because the one message that the guys have here for Leo's is to remember that you have a really good intuition and you have sort of a sixth sense. You will know when someone is full of crap. You will know when someone lies to you. So assess situations before you react and before you engage with people, right? That was your July, going in August into August 2021, looking at the star sign of Leo's, or Leo. Perfect. <laughs> in August, you have the timber wolf and the turkey. What is important is after all the ups and downs, you know, in the, in the previous months, as you can see, so it's a bit all over the place and, and one month is good, the other, one, the other month is not so good, then this month is good again. So, <clears throat> energetically speaking, you are um, in a year of... of contrast 
right? I wouldn't say it's necessarily a year of, of polarity, but you are definitely in a place of contrast. And what happens in August is that while you're fully in charge, still not everybody you work with, not everybody you love, not everybody is in your life, fully understands you and sometimes you're trying to explain something and it's like talking algebra to a dog. No offense to dogs, I love them, you know. But, you know, it would be pointless because what are they going to do with algebra? So what that means is, this, this, this weird impression, uh, expression, is that, that sometimes people, even though they try to follow you, hence the dog, you know, trying to please you, trying to understand, they're not quite getting you. So watch how well or how badly um, conversation flows in August, okay? September is the next star sign we're looking at. This is the month of September for the star sign of Leo. <clears throat> in September, you know, remember they asked you in August just now um, to make, to watch how communication overall works. And come September, you're already making you really reconcile with different parties where you probably said the wrong thing or they said the wrong thing. So it's already on, everything's already on the up there. I kind of feel like, okay, that was not good. Let's just see if we can salvage this, if that makes sense. And then you have the shaman of birth, which means the very fact that you go, instead of going like, screw you, right? You don't want to understand me, I go somewhere else. Right? Make sure there is no ego right in September with you just um, the very fact that you say like okay you know maybe it takes two sides here let's just calm down a little and let's just see what we can salvage um, and that's what the guides are asking you because if you start doing that you start making peace you start having an easier way of communicating with anyone if that makes sense that's when you give birth to new ideas. That's when you really make progress. Because as you communicate properly, people open up to you. And you found and find a new common ground, a new denominator in the things you want to do. This is a very good month, September 2021. To also, and this is for relationships now, look into relationships that have been going on for quite some time. Um, should you be a person that is fortunate enough to have someone who is and has been by your side for a long time, it's that scenario that the guides give, give me. I know this is not doesn't apply to anybody or everybody, sorry, everybody. But what the guides are saying is this is also a good month because communication is easier. You're also um, much more willing to be called on your crap. You know, be so, so, so like, you know, you did that wrong and that really hurt me. You, you're not blocking it, you're not hiding it. And so th what the guides are saying is with regards to relationships, love, um, and I get the feeling that doing this, which means longer relationships that have been going on for longer. This is the month to maybe, you know, take someone out for a lovely meal, you know, rekindle what you can rekindle, you know, show your passion, show your love, and try to make up for the times when it wasn't so great, okay? That was that going into October 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Leo. Bit of a tough year for Leos. It's not super tough, but it is not super easy either, right? And yet, come October, you have the hawk and the crow, two birds, which means again, step back a little, pay attention to what you see, look at the bigger picture, which you already started in September, because that's what happens. <coughs> you are Communication gets easier, and then you can, you can assess things without any problems. And that's what they're asking you to do in October. Assess situations, no matter what happens in October. Allow yourself to realize that you're still changing. You haven't reached your full potential. Whatever it is you're trying to do hasn't reached its zenith yet. And what they're saying is, it'll come. You're still going through, how am I going to pull this off? So you're still in the, in the process of, of preparing, of, of growing things, you know, transformation really important. And all they're asking you is to go with the flow. 
take things easy, make sure there's no frustration coming back into your life. October is a month of realizing I'm not quite there yet, but I'm really on the way. And allow yourself to be proud of what you have achieved thus far. Okie dokie, that was October. Going into November 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Leo. My name is Thomas Yannack. Please join um, um, the, um, the Facebook page and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, really, really important. November. <laughs> okay, in November, things get a bit tougher again for Leos or not. It depends on how... This, this, in, in, uh, in November, a lot of stuff depends on how things have already been because this is about assessing and looking back at your family, also your tribe, the people you hold dear, the people you are the closest to, and then assess how is this working? Are we still an awesome team? Or are we losing one another? Because one of the messages here, um, apart from the message to, to really look at family members, flesh and blood, or look at, at the closest people you have, you know, relationships, even people who are your best friends. You maybe work with them or they come around any other day, every other day. Right? These are the people who make up your tribe. And in November, they're asking you to look at what works, and this is probably the hardest thing to do. In November, they're asking you to walk away from things that energetically make you ill, where energetically you feel like, you know, all I ever feel is down, um, and let things go, or, and, or remove yourself. Okay? Leos, I really do feel for you because... Um, there's quite a lot of stuff you have to go through in, in 2021. But let me tell you this, energetically speaking, because that's what the guides give me is energy. This is not a low energy year. This is just a year where you need to really assess, make sure you, you communicate right and um, allow yourself still to go through stuff that hasn't worked, you know, and assess yourself and, and also um, look at your health. So, so a lot of the stuff is actually sort of internal. While you're going through life, um, you're always being reminded, or often being reminded, um, that there are things sitting, sitting, there are things sitting inside you that are not so easily solved, and you 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 attempt to solve them throughout the whole year, right? Ha! Huh, let's just see if you get a break in December. This is your last month for the star sign of Leo. You have the spirit, the spirit of truth and the spirit of nurture. So in December, because you have done anything and everything the guides asked you to, so please, please, please look into your spirituality, make note of what the guides are trying to help you with, right? Pay attention um, to, to the subtle and not so subtle changes that are coming your way in 2021. And in December, all they're saying to you is be truthful. First and foremost to yourself. So like, okay, you know, this will be a month of reflection. Um, it's also quite common. December seems to be that month where you say like, okay, another year. This year wasn't so good or this year was awesome or this year was this and this year was that. So because we're having this, this change of, of year, uh, people are much more reflective <laughs> in December, which is why everybody sort of manifests uh, 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 around that time. <clears throat> and all the guys are saying is be truthful to yourself. Um, allow yourself to, to feel where your, your own failings are and where and what you could have done better. Just assess and also, you know, be truthful. If you have done well, and if you were a good person, been a good boy, do you mean? You know, if you have been a good person, um, then acknowledge it. It's not ego to say like, you know what, I've done well. Yeah, well done you. And then 
<coughs> the biggest message for the month of December is the spirit of nurture, right? Make this a month that is your month. Make this a month where you probably go, this is what I'm getting sort of, you know, get into the Christmas spirit and, um, and carry it with you. You know, be lighthearted. Everybody's a bit more festive in December. Feel and allow yourself to be in a festive mode for the months because it helps you heal. It also makes you, helps you recharge. And certainly going into 2022, then you're a stronger person for it. Okay? Okie dokie. Thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please subscribe below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page. Really, really important. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. That was all we have time for. Goodbye.